Hello and welcome to my channel BitGlen. My name's Glenn and this is my uh, vlog of my cryptocurrency journey uh, as I'm going along trying to figure out this space. Um, and I invite you to join me in that journey. You can click the little uh, subscribe button down below. I really have uh, a, you know, a target to hit a thousand subscribers. Um, so if you haven't subscribed already, please, please subscribe to this channel. Also give this video a thumbs up. Um, today actually, I wanted to, um, I was going to do this video, I had it all planned actually, um, and it was to do with forking of coins. Someone in my Telegram, which again, if you want to join my Telegram group, it's Team Bitglen. Um, Telegram's a free app that you can download onto your desktop or phone, and one of the guys in there mentioned about um, uh, a couple of the coins that are going to be forking soon and it's actually driving the price up of the coin that they're forking off um, and I had this I actually started recording the video I recorded about five minutes of it me trying to um, give my interpretation of what a fork is um, but <laughs> the kids all started crying and uh, I, I didn't get a chance to finish it it's now half ten at night I'm actually going to do that video tomorrow because I feel like it deserves a bit more time than me trying to rush it because I feel pretty tired now uh, so I feel like I don't really want to do it tonight. Anyway, what I did want to talk about was uh, something that's more close to my chest, you know, like it related more to me today, what I was thinking, and I didn't really have anyone else to talk to about it. I tried explaining it to my wife, and she didn't really understand what I was trying to get across. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys uh, and see what you think. So before we uh, get into that, Let's have a little look at the markets because Bitcoin has finally finished on a day where it's over $9,000, which is fantastic. Go on the Bitcoin. Um, normally, it when it gets close to like a psycholo psychological number, 9, 10, 11,000, whenever it got up to one of those, it always dipped back down. But this one actually got to 9,000, went past 9,000, and it's still past 9,000. So to me, that says that hopefully tomorrow that will start where that left off sort of thing. So I've got big hopes for Bitcoin, you know, to hit see it back past $10,000 probably this week at some point, um, which is really good news. Ethereum has pretty much stuck to 10% of whatever Bitcoin's worth. <coughs> <coughs> um, so that's a bit odd, actually. I don't know why that, that is the case. Um, now, we're, in terms of the other coins, to me, a lot of the coins are going back into what they were worth sort of pre-New Year, pre-Christmas. Um, so you're looking at ripples now over a dollar. And I remember doing a video end of December saying, oh, my God, ripples gone over a dollar. And then all of a sudden it shot to like $3.50, um, $3.50, sorry. Uh, and then it dropped back down and it went down to like, as we know, sort of, I don't know, 50, 60 cent at some point. Um, and now it's worked its way back up to a, over a dollar. Bitcoin cash is up to one three. Uh, I believe it's highest at one point was one, was it one seven or one eight? Um, but all these coins seem to be going back to where they were sort of before Christmas time. Um, but one at a time, which is odd, which is a bit odd for me because being in the, crypto space for the last few months now what i've tend to see is if bitcoin goes up they all go up if bitcoin goes down they all go down um, and it seems to follow and you can tell this just by looking at these graphs here normally nine times out of ten they almost look identical you know if you actually took away if you put your hand over what coin they are you wouldn't be able to tell because they all have the same dip they all come back up together then they all go up together but what, what we've seen is is that, for, say for like a four-day period, one coin is selected somehow. So we had Ripple go back up to where it was. Bitcoin Cash go back up to where it was. And now today, Litecoin has uh, joined that group and it's now at $208. Now that was at $150, $160 um, a couple of days ago. And that's where it's been for a while. Um, and now it's just jumped up uh, they have had some good news come out recently and um, 
uh, I still think Litecoin's a really good form of payment. So I don't see why Litecoin isn't worth more than Bitcoin Cash and Ripple myself. Well, what do I know? I'm an idiot. So um, <laughs> um, so we've seen Litecoin jump up. We've seen Bitcoin Cash jump up. We've seen Ripple go up. So that leaves in my mind the only two coins left to go back to where they were is Ethereum, which obviously was at 1000 at, at its highest, I think it was $1,400, but it generally hovered around the $1,200 mark. Uh, it's currently sitting at nine ten, so that's got about $300 to go up to back to where it was before the big crash. Um, and obviously Bitcoin, Bitcoin pretty much needs to double in price to be back where it was. But I believe that's you know going to be a bit more of a slow burner. I was watching some videos yesterday of a gentleman, and I'm going to completely mess his name up. Um, can't remember his name. I literally went on a watching spree. I watched about, I don't know, 10 videos that he was featured in. Really intelligent guy. And it seems like the channel that he seems to get asked to do work for. Um, you're going to see my history now of what I've been watching on YouTube. Boss Baby, you can tell my kids watch YouTube off my phone. Jake Paul. Uh, where is it? I literally watched. Is this all the crap that my kids watch in one day? I was literally watching these videos last night. There we go. So this is the stuff I watched. <laughs> you can see here, it's all cryptocurrency stuff. Before that, it was all kids stuff. And you might be thinking, yeah, yeah, Glenn. Uh, Big Connect. There we go. Ah, uh, this is the guy. Sorry, that actually took about five minutes to. Uh, Nolan Barreri oh, that completely messed his name up but anyway if you get a chance try and watch some of these videos when he's questioned on CNBC it seems like the panel that are on there are complete dicks um, and they're just trying to catch him out left right and centre so they've invited him onto the show I assume to give his analysis of what's happening at that point in time and they're just like that even their like body language, they're like this, and they're going, you know, what's Bitcoin only costs like one hundred and twenty dollars to make if you actually mine it, and if you include all the electricity costs, <laughs> why is it worth nine grand? <laughs> and I was thinking, have these guys never seen a piece of art, like a canvas on a wall? Like I know that a piece, you can't say Bitcoin's a piece of art, but you know, that that canvas probably costs five dollars, but it's worth a, you know a million dollars because some guy painted it or gold like how much did gold cost to get out of the ground you know it, you don't value things like that you value what their worth is to a mass amount of people um and they were just trying to call him out saying oh yeah it's nine thousand it's made up it's made up and he was trying to defend it and obviously say well actually this this and this and it weren't just that. There was a few other points they brought up. And every time that they talked to him, they're literally talking down at him. Um, so I feel like he held his call cool through most of these videos. I don't know why he keeps going back on that show. But um, there's some really good interviews. Anyway, that's my opinion. Um, go and watch these videos. I just searched his name on to um, uh, YouTube. Got some really interesting um, topics on there. Um, anyway, I got completely sidetracked there. So... Um, he was trying to explain, obviously, the price of Bitcoin. I also watched uh, Tom Lee. They interviewed Tom Lee, and Tom Lee is the man. If you don't know who Tom Lee is, um, not just because he's very, well, I wouldn't say he was pro Bitcoin, but um, you know, he's done lots of research um, and he's paid to predict or give his analysis of what is happening to the um, cryptocurrency markets before sort of big investors get involved. And um, he was just, he's just so like, straight to the point. He's like, he's like they're like, oh, um, you know, what's going on with this big crash? Is this the end of Bitcoin? And he's like, oh, no, we still predict that Bitcoin's going to be worth $25,000 uh, by mid-year. And then that's it. And then they're like, oh, okay, um, why do you think that is? And he was like, just based on the research we've done and the analysis we've got available to us, um, and we believe it will go to 40000 by the end of the year. And it's just so just straight-faced. I love it. I, I think he's brilliant. He's probably 
I search every week or so to see if there's any new YouTube videos featuring Tom Lee. Uh, I think he's brilliant. So anyway, that's another. So there's two uh, really cool people to look up uh, if you are interested in what their analysis is of Bitcoin. Um, so in terms of what other coins have gone up in value, uh, Litecoin has been the biggest gainer. There was a couple of pump and dump coins earlier that were up massive amounts of percent. Um I can't remember what they were, but one of them was up 150%, and then it went straight back down again. Um, so anyway, that's that's enough of the market. So that's pretty much what's going on. Like I say, I was going to do a hard fork uh, conversation, but I'm going to save that for tomorrow. So if you have any questions about hard fork, either message me on the um, Telegram group or comment on this video, because I'll read them by tomorrow midday. And then I'll try and do a video and try and answer some of your questions then. Because someone commented on the Telegram group saying, um, Glenn, you should discuss what this whole uh, fork is going on um, with Zcash. So Zcash has been uploaded uh, because it's going to have a hard fork. So you're going to actually get two lots of coins. Whoever owns one whole Zcash coin um, is going to receive, I believe it's called Bitcoin Private. And then the other one was Ethereum Classic. There's a new coin coming out, and I can't remember the name of it, but they're all happening within the next sort of couple of weeks. So um, they're sort of two coins that are on the up massively. But what you need to be careful of is, one, when the split does happen, that price of that original coin, like Zcash, people are going to try and sell it. So that's going to either plummet straight down. Also, you have to be careful of... From what I understand is that they can delay a hard fork whenever they want. So it, I think one of them is like coming out on the 5th of March. If if it got to the 4th of March, they could say, oh, no, it's been delayed by two weeks. That means the price of that coin is going to go straight down. So you have to be really on the ball uh, if you don't want to be involved in that big slump. Um, and what you don't know what you're going to gain out of it. Because, yeah, you might gain a coin, but it might be worth like $1. And you've just paid $100 for this Z cash. And then Z cash goes down to you know, $50 again in the slump, you think, oh, it's not worth it. I could have bought 50 of them after the split. But anyway, we'll talk about that tomorrow. We'll talk about it tomorrow. The thing that I did want to talk about today, and if you're um, if you're not interested at all in YouTubers or uh, me in particular, you just literally want cryptocurrency talk, then you might want to switch off now. Um, Superman, or oh, Super, Superman, um, he's, uh, and I'm not just going to talk about him, I'll talk about a few YouTubers. He's done a video today <clears throat> saying sorry, because from my understanding, I haven't watched these videos for about a week or so, but generally I watch his videos quite often. Uh, he does give a lot of knowledge, um, and the amount of research he must do, because I always say to people, look, I haven't got time. I don't have the physical time. I work and have a family, and try and do YouTube as in my spare time. Like today's Valentine's Day, I've waited till my not only my kids gone to bed, but my wife's gone to bed, because um, otherwise she'd be like, "Oh, on Valentine's Day, Glenn just sat there on his laptop." So I'm trying to fit in that as well as trying to do research on my own. You know what I'm interested in, and also trying to find stuff out for you guys that you ask me. Um, this guy's presenting. PowerPoint presentations on different ICOs and what their plus and pros and cons are. So I think, oh, he must put in so much time behind the scenes. Um, forgetting doing the videos, he does a video every single day. Um, but he must put in so much time and effort. Anyway, that's I'm, I'm bigging him up. I think he's really good. It, you know, I'd suggest you watch his channels if you're, especially if you're interested in ICOs. He seems to talk about a lot of ICOs. But what I did want to talk about was YouTubers making money. So something that uh, came across to me quite early on, obviously Crypto Nick, Trevon James, that one with the glasses, can't remember his name, Ryan something. Then you've got Superman, you've got Doug Pohl, you've got uh, who's some of the other ones. I've got them down here, actually. Uh, I watched this... Uh, Guy from the UK, Lewis Thomas, um, you know, box mining, JMS vlogs. All of these people generally, I think, start off doing YouTube because they enjoy it. 
same as me. I'm in a position where I actually enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking to you guys. Um, and I literally get nothing else out of it. If anything, it's a hindrance in my life because it's taking up so much of my time. Um, but I enjoy it. I really, you know, I'm not complaining. I enjoy doing it. Now there comes a point where if you're dedicating, you know, three hours a day, five hours a day, six hours a day, there has to come a point where you have to think, right, actually, this is starting to take off. I'm getting loads of viewers, loads of subscribers. I'm getting asked this. I'm getting asked that. I'm doing as much research as I can there has to be a point where you think right okay I wonder if I can earn some money from it and I think a lot of people in crypto in YouTube um in particular seem to sh shy away from this like they don't want to talk about it it's um it's hidden you know they all they all have different ways of doing it and I've seen loads of them so probably <laughs> The most successful one that I've seen is oh, up until obviously recently was Logan Paul because my son, as you just saw there, my son watches Jake Paul, Logan Paul, that he's only eight, bless him. And literally he had no shame. You know, he'd be like, you know, buy my merch, look at my check, check out my new top, you know, oh yeah, bloody hell, look, it's so good, buy my merch, click the link below. It was just so in your face with it. It was unreal. As well as obviously he's getting uh, adverts at the beginning of his videos, so he's getting money from YouTube anyway. And because he was generating so many views, um, he was getting YouTube partner program as well. So he was getting a higher percentage. Whereas like someone a little YouTuber like me, I'd get you know, zero point zero 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 one of percent of a penny for every advert that's shown. He was getting obviously a higher percent. Is Superman? Uh, he from what I understand, he doesn't actually monetize his videos. So when you click on his videos, um, no adverts come up. So you think, oh, he's not actually earning any money from adverts. But what he is uh, getting money for, and you may already know this, you might be thinking, Glenn, we know this, you know, whatever. But he sells a online course with Udemy, uh, which is like an online university. You do a course, I think you basically pay to unlock videos that you sit and watch and you do a course and you have a live chat with him and you can ask him questions and he will teach you about cryptocurrency. I think that's a really good idea, you know, for people that want to step it up. Um, say you're watching my videos and you're like, well, actually, I've Glenn, I don't know that much. You know, you might want to pay and his courses is $10, which in the UK is it's about £7. <clears throat> so he does these courses. Now, what he's done is he came out and said about, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that, um, I've got this new ICO that's coming out. It's so good. It's so good. It's the best ICO I've ever seen, and it's going to 100x. Um, I might tell you, oh, no, I won't, actually. I'll leave it. Then, like, a few days later, he said, oh, yeah, that ICO I was talking about, I'm going to reveal it soon. And he's been saying that on and off his videos, and I haven't really watched these videos for the last week or so, I suppose. But it was only until people put in my group chat today in my Telegram, um, oh, have you seen Superman? He's getting absolutely slated. And I thought, what's going on? Why is he getting slated? Oh, maybe that ICO wasn't that good after all. But it isn't that. He's basically uh, said, oh, if you want to find out what this ICO is, so he's bigged it up over a long period of time. And then he said, right, actually, if you want to find out what it is, um, you have to join my course. Uh, and even if you're already a member, I believe he's, you have to, I think you have to set up a new one, like another one. So you have to pay another tenner. So obviously this has upset people. I, that isn't the full story, but uh, people have said, oh, you're just trying to get money out of us. You're trying to scam us. You're just as bad as Trevon James. Now, if you look at, that's obviously one way. That's one way that he's making money. And I think he, and rightfully so, he should earn money. He's, he's dedicating a lot of his time to offering free advice to people online. Maybe the way he's gone about it is the wrong way. And the, maybe the way he explained it is the wrong way, as he suggested in this video. So I've only, as you can see, I've watched half this video. And he sort of explained, oh, I, I didn't explain myself properly and yada, yada. And I think that's really good that he's come out and said that. Um, when you look at, like, Crypto Nick, um, Trevon James and all them, obviously they weren't offering some online course. They were basically saying, oh, look at me, I've just earned... A thousand pound from 
what was it? What was it? Big Connect. Big Connect. Um, and they, they were investing their money and they were showing you how much money they were earning. And obviously slipping in the, uh, oh yeah, if you want to join the team or whatever, click the little link down below. And then you become affiliate um, of theirs and they start earning commission off you. So this got me thinking like, obviously I'm a small YouTuber, I don't earn anything. Um, a lot of people started commenting on my videos going, oh, you're only mentioning Hashflare in your videos for the referral link. And I said, I don't really care about the referral link, to be honest. But then someone else said, well, why'd you put it in there then? <laughs> well, you know. And this, this really got me thinking. I was talking to Nathan today, my friend. Why, is people, why are people so scared to say, look, I earn money from this? You know what I mean? Like, as long as you're honest with people, um, and even people that say they're not selling something. So uh, Doug Polk, one of my favorite YouTubers uh, on cryptocurrency as well, really funny, interesting, and I, I'm actually watching his video at the minute. I commented on one of his videos. I probably won't get a reply back because he's too popular. Um, it, you know, even he, he, obviously he says, right, I don't, monetize my videos because I don't want any crappy ICOs being advertised in my videos, uh, which I commend him for. Um, he doesn't have any referral links. He doesn't, you know, anything like that. But even he wears, you know, I've noticed he sells uh, T-shirts, uh, merchandise or whatever, you know, like buy this T-shirt. And he's trying to promote a, a website called Coin Central, uh, which I think he owns or set up or is a part of or something like that. So, you know, even he's leading people to somewhere where I assume that gets ad revenue as well or something like that. So, um, not. but what I'm trying to say is, uh, I, I'm not saying any of these are bad things. I've always worked in sales and it was just always known, you know, you come in and you speak to a car salesman and I say, oh, you're right there, can I help at all? And I used to be really honest with people. People used to come in for cars and I used to say, look, that car ain't no good for you. And they'd go, oh, you shouldn't say that, you know, you're talking me out of the sale. And I just go, yeah, but look, what you're better off with is this, this, and this, because you've got five kids, you, you know, you don't need a small boot, did it? You know, all this sort of stuff, you know. And you start to build trust with that person, and all of a sudden it became, people used to say to me, Glenn, how do you sell the add-ons? Because I used to say, you know, if you lead people down the right path in an honest way, they're going to say, well, Glenn, you know, what... That, that extra insurance, what do you think about it? I just go, yeah, I think it's really good. Yeah, right, add it on. You know, <laughs> um, and I'm not saying that that was me being manipulative. Some some of them I say, look, it's no good for you. That you know, it, you, you're 25. You'll you'll probably get free with your insurance. You know, yada yada yada. Um, and I, I'd like to think that I'd like to do the same with YouTube videos. Um, it, if someone approached me and said, Glenn, can you talk about, I don't know, polymath? You know, I'd have a look at it. And if I thought, yeah, do you know what? That's a really good project. Um, I really like the website. I really like what they're doing. I'm not too sure about this. I'd probably say, you know, and if they offered me money, if they said, like, look, we'll pay you a thousand pounds if you mention our thing, and I'd say, yeah, as long as you understand that I'm honest with all my viewers and if there's any negative sides, I, I can point them out. If they turn around and said to me, no, 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 we don't want you to mention anything negative, otherwise we won't pay you, I'd say, yeah, that's fine. I'll talk about it anyway. I don't want your payment. But if they said, yeah, that's fine, mention whatever you want, um, I would accept that payment. <laughs> Why would I not earn money for something that I'm enjoying and I'm sharing with you guys? Uh, I want it, The reason I want to hit a 1,000 subscribers is because I want to monetize my videos. 90% of you will wait until the little five-second box says, skip this vid, which I don't think you get paid for anyway. So... I just, I don't, I just don't get it. I don't get why so many people are shying away like, oh no, I don't earn any money from this and oh no, this, you know, I, this isn't a referral link or I'm not going to include it. You know, why? Why? You know, I've, the guys in my group chat, they say to me, Glenn, we want to use your link. We're saving, you know, and I think, oh, that's really nice of them, but they haven't got to. I, I'm not. I didn't set the group up just to get a load of people together so I can shove a load of referral links down their throat. I actually said, actually, I don't want any referral links on this group chat. You know, I just, 
it's just something that resonated with me. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. It, you know, what do you guys think about how a YouTuber should earn? What's the best way of earning money? Because I was reading the comments of the uh, Superman one, um, and on his Twitter as well, and uh, you know. People are saying, oh, instead of doing this Udemy thing, why don't you just monetize your videos? I'd rather that. Some people are saying, no, don't monetize your videos. That would put me off. And I think, God, you can't you can't satisfy everyone. But as long as you're honest. You know, I, I would I would gladly say, obviously, he had a, I don't know if you guys know, he had a thing. Let's go to his Twitter, actually. Um... He, had, he was doing a live video and a little message popped up. I don't know if you've ever seen, I get little messages pop up when I'm on the video to you guys. And I could sit there and edit them out, but I don't because I ain't got nothing to hide. Um, and he had a message pop up saying, yeah, we'll pay you two Bitcoin to talk about whatever coin it was. And then literally a day later or so, he talked about that coin. But then he claimed he never took any payment from it, which I don't care if he did or not. Um but if that was me, um, no, that ain't the one. Um, if that was me, I would I would take the payment as long as it. I thought it was a good project. If I thought it was a scam, um, like there is one that I'm. I've been contacted by someone. I won't mention who yet. But they offered me an affiliate program. And when I started looking into her website, I thought, oh, this looks dodgy. I don't know if I like this. But I didn't have time to read through it all. Now, if I do have any feeling whatsoever that it is a scam, I'll probably tell you guys, stay clear of this, this ICO because I think it's a scam. Um, but, you know, I'd just be honest. Like, Would you guys mind? Like, Would you care? Please comment down below. What do you think? You know, if I came to you and said, I really like this project, um, just to let you know, I've been sponsored, or not sponsored, but they've they've paid me, yeah, sponsored. Uh, I've been sponsored to talk about polymath. Now, polymath is this, this, and this, and this, and this, um, and they're hoping to solve this, and they're hoping to achieve that. What do you guys think? Uh, the negative thing is they haven't got a very good website, they haven't got the, or whatever. Is that something that you guys would be happy with? Would you accept that from me, or would you look down at me for doing that sort of thing? Um, if I put adverts on my videos, would you think any less of me? Would you know if I started wearing a T-shirt that said Team Bit Glen? Would that upset people? Um, it is a, it is? It's like what? What's the best way to do it? You know, to me, I think God, I'd want to do all of it. You know, like why not? If I some someone messaged me on Facebook recently and said, Oh, Glenn, do you actually sell any hoodies? I'd buy one. And I was like, no, I don't, I don't make hoodies. Um, but I would, you know, I'd set that up. Uh, Team Bit Glen, get a bit of like, uh, I don't know, like a community going of people that are all sort of on the same wavelength. Why not? Why not earn money from that? I don't get it. I don't get why people are so like, oh, no, I don't, you know, don't worry, guys, I'm not being paid to say this. And, oh, yeah, I, I don't earn any money from YouTube videos. Like, why? You've got... He's got 130,000 subscribers on his channel. And in his video, he's banging on about, oh, no, I don't monetize any of my videos. Uh, Doug as well, you know, all right, he had a moral reason. He said because he didn't want crappy ICOs being advertised on his videos. But, I mean, that's down to YouTube, isn't it? That's between YouTube and the viewer. That's I'm just being paid. I don't know. I don't, what do you guys think? Um, I, just, I just feel, you know, if you're doing something good that people enjoy try and make some money out of it. And it doesn't cost you guys anything. You're still watching the same content. Um, whether Superman got paid to say those things, obviously that is where, that's where mistakes are made. So if I'd said to you, okay, guys, I really like this polymath. Um, you know, I'm not paid to say this, uh, but I just think they're really good. I think they're awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Sunshine and at their ass. They can't do no shit wrong. But then you find out two weeks later, oh, Glenn was just saying that because he was paid to say it. Then that's all of a sudden you've lost all your credibility. You've lost all your trust with your viewers. And then they start to think, oh, what about, you know, Glenn mentioned Hashflare. Glenn's mentioned Envion. Has he been paid by them? You know, and you start to get this ball rolling of like, they don't trust you. And that's hard to shake off. You know, that's especially in this format. Um, it's hard to 
get that off you. Um, so I just I said to my friend Nathan, you know, I, I do want to earn money from YouTube because then I can give up work and I can just do this all the time. And as well as being able to do it all the time, um, I'd be able to create better videos. I'd be able to sit there and edit it. I can edit out all my gaps and erms and buts. And I could do that now, but it would just take so much time. I could have fancy backgrounds. I could have different camera effects, you know, stuff like that. But that all takes hours. Um, and then I've got to do research. And, you know, if I could get paid to do it, if I said to my wife, you know, look, actually, I'm earning a thousand pound a month from talking about cryptocurrency on YouTube, then I'm sort of like, okay, well, that's pretty much, that covers half the bills so if I can just do a part-time job and do that you know you benefit from it you know because you're getting more out of me and a better content um but that's my views anyway I just, that's all I wanted to talk about today because it really played on my mind today so um, what do you guys think please comment down below um message me on telegram you can also find me on instagram facebook twitter um i just show you my uh, this is what I was talking about. I've been really honest from the beginning. I've said, look, I want to hit my goals so I can monetize my channel. And no one's ever questioned me and no one's ever come up to me and said, oh God, you're just looking to make money. And if someone said that, I'd be like, yeah, I am. Like, I'm not, why would I not? Like, I, I just don't get it. Not that I want to con people. I, that's the thing. I don't want to rip people off and I don't want to lie to people. But if I can earn money honestly, then yes, yes, I definitely want to do that. <laughs> um, if I hit a thousand subscribers, I become part of the YouTube partner program and I can have my channels monetized, which I won't get a lot. I mean, I've got another channel actually, uh, which some of you have found. Some of you have found like I've done some boxing and I've done um, some diet videos. And I, um, I was doing videos on that for 10 months to a year and I earned 13 pound all in total now with YouTube you have to I think have a minimum of 60 to 100 pounds before you can make a withdrawal so I've not earned anything <laughs> from that whole channel so I don't think I'm going to earn a lot uh, because my videos still only get a small amount of views and I've only got 700 subscribers you know it's not thousands like some of the others but, you know, if I can earn £50 a month, £100 a month, that's something that I would put into Bitcoin or an ICO or something else. And then that gives me something else to talk about. That means I've got more videos to do. So it's a snowball effect, really. Um, that's it, really, guys. I just, I suppose what I really want to say is um, I can promise you that doing these videos, I will always be honest and upfront with you guys, even if it makes me look stupid, even if it makes me, you know, if I have to admit that I was wrong about something, um, I will always be honest because I believe that's the best way to build a community. And if you have a good community and you can offer that community something, then there's money to be made. And trust, they have you know they want something from you you want something from them you're both helping each other out everyone's happy everyone's a winner I don't know what do you guys think I might have just shot myself in the foot there by saying that that might piss people off but I don't know why why you know I don't get it but that's me I'm up until this point I've um, earned no money from doing YouTube at all so I've been doing this now for about four months I've really enjoyed my time I've enjoyed the community um, I've learned a lot and I do believe cryptocurrency is the way forward um, so I'm a part of that train anyway so hopefully <laughs> fingers crossed even without YouTube I'll earn money anyway um, but yeah if, if an opportunity comes up um, to earn money from doing this something I enjoy I'm going to take it and I'm going to tell you guys about it if anyone ever approaches me and says we'll pay you to do this I'll say hi guys I'm being paid by bit main to talk about this here what do you guys think about this look at this video look at this picture blah 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 i like this i don't like that you know what, what is wrong with that let me know let me know i'll speak to you later guys i'll see you tomorrow on the next video Bye.